You might be thinking, what does a story from ancient Babylon have to do with my nine to five, my my daily grind? But here's the thing, faith, courage, and conviction. These just aren't words from an old book. They're alive, they're pulsing, and they are so very real for us today as they were with Daniel. Daniel's story isn't just a tale from the past. It's a lesson for us today. It reminds us that even in our modern world with all of its challenges, faith remains our strongest ally. And as we go through our own challenges, let us remember that with faith, just like Daniel, we too can overcome the impossible. And so as we delve deeper, consider the countless individuals throughout history, like Daniel stood firm in their faith, facing adversity head on. Oh, their stories separated by centuries echo the exact same truth, that faith, when genuine and deep-rooted, has the power to move mountains, to shift paradigms, and to bring about transformative change. And in our own lives, these stories serve as a beacon, a a light, urging us to persevere, to remain steadfast, to let our faith be the guiding light. They remind us that even when we are at odds and they seem insurmountable, with faith by our side, oh, victory is within reach. Remember that our journey with faith isn't just about us. It's about everyone that we touch along the way. So let's be like Daniel. Let's live with passion and conviction. Oh, let's let our faith shine so brightly that it lights the way for others. Because in the end, that's what faith is all about. Creating ripples that touch and transform lives. You know, we've walked through hi, Daniel's life. And if there's one thing that stands out, it's the power of unwavering faith. Now, let's face it. Life throws us curveballs. Sometimes they're small. Other times they feel like giants. But here's the thing. Just like Daniel We've got something that is bigger on our side, and that's the love and sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Oh, it's real. It's powerful, and it's for every single one of us here. You ever felt that tug on your heart? That whisper telling you there's more than just this life. What's that one thing that you're taking away? Maybe it's a renewed commitment to prayer. Maybe it's sharing your story with a friend. Or perhaps it's just taking a moment to sit still in quiet reflection. Whatever it is, jot it down there on your sermon notes. Make it real. And I challenge you not to just reflect on the gospel message, but to actively live it out. Oh, may we be that beacon of hope in someone else's darkness, be the voice of comfort in their distress, and most importantly, be the embodiment of Christ's love in a world that, oh, that so desperately needs it.